Welcome back to working with Photoshop CC 2014 and working with 3D. Now this is just the last movie and of course one thing we missed was the 3D objects within the program itself. So before we imported either an object where we got original content from I think a Turbo Squid was the, the company with the racing car. Now we can import a 3D file but within the program itself we can actually work with a postcard and we can basically work with um, some depth uh, maps for planes and cylinders but what we want here is an actual 3D object. Okay so we're going to go down and load the wine bottle. Now just before I do that I'm going to show you what this finished wine bottle looks like. So here we are we're setting the scene, we're not doing anything with type, we're simply just loading in a bottle and we're going to add our own textures to it. Okay, so this is where we get into UV maps and effects with um, reflection, etc., and ambient uh, feel and uh, diffusion light. So, how do we do that? Well, it's actually very, very simple. All we do is I'm just going to close this file and here we are with the original file. So, as I mentioned, all we need to do is go from 3D, come down here to New Mesh from Layer. We're going to go all the way to the, um, the presets and Wine Bottle. Now I want this to come in just above because I want to sit in uh, front of my text here. And what I've done is I've added it into the bottle itself. And that wasn't what I meant to do. So I'm just going to undo that. And I'm just going to make sure that we, this time, add it to a new layer. So the new layer needs to be in place. So I'm just going to go Wine and return that and just do the same thing again. But as you can see, you can actually add your text or existing images straight to it. So that could be worth trying something with as well. Anyway, back to 3D. Come down here to that new depth map, um, presets rather. Mesh preset and wine bottle. So now, as you can see, the wine bottle comes in pretty good actually. I might just uh, move it around just a little bit because I want to sort of get the shadow. Sort of pretty happy where it's at at this stage. Uh, one thing, of course, I want to do is soften that shadow. That's not really the ideal shadow for here. So, first thing, I need to just go into the 3D. And um, I've just uh, dropped down my 3D file here, so I'm just going to bring my layers and click back onto the 3D again. And of course, light controls the shadows, so I'm just going to drag the shadow up just to soften it down a bit. So maybe all oh, that's looking just great just at the moment. Now I can add extra lights in, and feel free to do that as you go further into the file. But just for this example, I'm just going to stay with the one light. So let's go back into our, our layer. I just want to make sure that we've got um, our wine here. Back to the 3D and into the environment. Back into the bottle again. I'm just going to open that up. And here we have label, bottle and cap. Now, as you can see, you can click on each one. So we've got the whole bottle here. In fact, if I click on the cap here, and um, you see how it disappears off? So we can actually get rid of things um, and we certainly can play with each of these textures. So really it does come in handy. And I suppose a bottle is something that could be quite common. So you can color up any way you want. So anyway, what we're going to do is with this bottle here, I'm just going to go and uh, select, um, actually I'm going to start with the bottle and I'm just going to click on here to, to get my material. Now let me see, um, with the um, Label material, sorry, I meant to go to the bottle here. So I'm on the bottle because we can see this glass coming through here. Now what I might do is um, play with my ambient a little bit. Might go into some deeper blues and click that. And oh, I think I'll stay with the darker one and I'll just go OK. It's giving a bit of a tint on there. So it's just very subtle at this stage. Maybe uh, illumination. Maybe I'll let's have a look at this loaded texture in. Yeah, we might uh, just try loading in a texture and, and into it as well. But uh, no, I think I'm just going to go through here and also keep with a darker color. Yeah, that's just picking up a bit of tone that sort of reflects the background. Now, I'm also going to uh, load in a bit of a, a map here. 
So if we go into here, I'm just going to come down and um, I'm just going to remove this texture. Okay, and I'm going to go and load my own. So load texture. And what I want to get is some dot feel that's coming through into this imagery, but quite translucent. I'm going to use my lighter dots here and just to add that in. So a reflection of, you see how it's coming through here? Because what I'm going to do is add this texture to the lab label, and I just want to get a feel of this texture throughout the file. So good little illustration sort of medium to work with as well. So I think that's pretty well taken care of the bottle. Now, of course, I can go back and darken things off. Maybe it is a little bit blue at this stage, but uh, nonetheless, this is just an example. Feel free to change as much as you want. Okay, let's go into the uh, cap now. Okay, just with the cap up here, I'm going to go and uh, remove this texture. And I'm going to add my own texture, which is that color dots here because it's now it's in the file okay so I can load it from here but it's now existing because I've used it before okay just have a look what's happening here so now we're getting into the cap not too obvious but I'm going to actually start picking up the color down in this bottom version okay so speaking of that let's come down to uh, the label just check, check that see that's the label click on that come down here and what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go and uh, just remove the texture. And um, yeah, I'll just move the texture like so. Okay, so the texture's gone. It doesn't look much, much different, but essentially uh, it has been removed. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to load this new texture. Okay, so I want to use different dots this time, so I'm going to load texture. And I want to use my darker file here. Now I think I'll use either PSD or JPEG. I think I'll use a JPEG this time and just open that up. Now see, here's my graphic coming in here. Now what I want to do is get this label back onto the file. Um, maybe that's a little bit heavy at this stage, but not to worry. This is just a demo just to show how it's working. Lots of things you can still keep playing with until you're totally happy with it. So it's certainly a great tool to work with. Right, as I mentioned, where's the label? How do we get that on? We've already replaced a texture in here. Well, this is where we use our UVs. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click down here and I'm going to go Edit Texture, okay? And this is a UV map, and this is showing how the position of it sort of goes together. Now, we can do this with our, our bottle as well, just to load things precisely in. Um, and you can open the bottle texture and actually will show the top of the cap so you could even load a label in there. Now I might show you that in just a minute, but just to get this one going, I'm going to get my label which I've already pre-prepared. I think that's uh, just here and it's already selected too. So I'm just going to go edit and copy that and come back to um, my label here. I'm going to go down to my file here and I'm just going to paste it in. It should actually paste into place on a new layer. Now it's a little bit big and it's going to be miles too big for the label. I'm going to hold my, um, well before I hold my shift option key to constrain it or to reduce it to scale it, of course I need to come down to transform scale. Hold your option and shift key and I'm just going to scale it down there just so I can get the label in. That looks about great. And I'll just click OK and I'm just going to close this and I'm going to go save and OK. Let's go and have a look back at our wine label now. So as you can see, we have our wine label brought in. So that's pretty much it, rather than maybe playing with some tones or changing things, adding bump maps, more reflection, and perhaps maybe that's what I want to do with that label as well. Uh, now that's looking a little bit better. I think that reflection adds quite a bit, maybe a bit more shine as well. And it's just going to pick up. Um, as I mentioned, I'm just going to have a look down here when we go back to um, actually the wine label itself. Okay, so just back to 3D and just the cap. And I'm just going to go here and go edit texture. And um, I'll just go OK and see what's happened here. OK, now here's the text coming through. Now you can see how the label breaks up. And this is the top of the label. 
If we wanted to, in fact, I'm just going to do that to try and demonstrate this, as I'm just going to make a selection. We can put anything in this we want. Um, I might just go to another layer first, and I'm just going to drag my circle shape here. And just with that color with the yellow, well, why not just accept that? So I'm just going to go um, Option Delete, just to fill it with yellow. And what I might also do is I'm now going to just go and uh, go back to white. And I'll just get uh, my brush here. And I'm just going to put a line straight through it. Now it's a little bit hard to see on this, but anyway, I'm just going to close this. And I'm going to save this. And I'll go OK. And let's just go and turn over our wine bottle. By the way, just before I do this, I'm going to save it. That's looking pretty good. So I'll just go save. And um, what I'm going to do is just go back to my move tools here. And uh, let's just see if we can just move that down here. So see, this is the top of the cap. We could put type in here or anything. So really quite a powerful little um, program. I'm just going to move this down back into place here just a bit further and um, maybe it'll turn it around a little bit more just get the label just a bit further and uh, that's looking pretty snappy maybe just to line up a bit be better with the text as I said, we can change this to anything else we want at any time. And of course, one thing to finish off, don't forget to render it. So you can render it from here. You can uh, render it within the 3D. Um, once we're into 3D, from down here, so see the graphic. Or just into 3D here, you can come down and render it from here. So I'm going to render it from here at this stage. Then off it's going. So just rendering the file at the moment. So it just takes a, a few minutes to render. So we'll just see how that's going. Oh, it rendered, we'll start to render quite fast here. So it's really starting to form um, its shape just a little bit better now. So I probably, just for the sake of the movie, I'm not going to worry about rendering the whole thing. And um, as you can see, as it goes through and starts uh, really pulling the power of the computer to render it now, and it's winding up the fan, it's going through to its final render. So that's working with 3D and Photoshop. So enjoy the process.